In the name of Allah, the entirety of merciful and the especially of merciful, today, inshallah, we're going to discuss a new lesson from Mega Goal 6 uh, on second semester expansion 4 to 6 with me. I'm teacher Sami. Let's begin. So our lesson today is expansion 4 to 6. At first, we have some introductions. We want to introduce it for you, and I hope to follow it. Number one, the purpose for this tip is to give a comprehensive review from the fourth unit to the last one. Number two, we will improve your memory about the previous grammar, vocabulary, reading, and writing. And three, make sure to open the book on the required pages and follow the instructions carefully in order to facilitate understanding and answer. Okay, are you ready for our objectives today? Let's begin. Our objectives today have some points. Number one, language review. And point two is reading. So we have the reading passage, we will discuss the meaning of it, and we have some question, we should answer it, and also we have synonyms and idioms, we will discuss it. The title of our lesson is, It's Mystery. And number three, a language plus. Idioms about the strange or mysterious events. Okay, this is our three points, shall or we should, applying it at the end of our lesson. Let's begin. Look at this picture at first. What you can see at that one? What do you notice? What the happening come from sky or falling from sky? What do you think? Do you think it's a normal for you or a strange things or unexpected things or unbelievable things? What do you think is it? Okay, from that <coughs> picture, sorry, we have a pre-reading a question can we or uh, we should answer it or we discuss it as first. Number one, what are some things in the natural world that might have been difficult, that might have been difficult for people to understand before the development of science and technology? What do you think is it? Think uh, you uh, or ask yourself about that thing, make a critical thing with your mind or your brain. What do you think that something is hard or might have been difficult with the science. So, understand before the development, this is what we uh, talking with the science and technology. So from my opinion, I think this is a good question. Everyone <coughs> should answer or ask uh, their so themselves about this question. Uh, from my opinion, I think that we have uh, a natural uh, phenomena is one an example or as example for these things. Number two, do you think everything in the natural world can be now be explained with science and technology? What do you think so about this question? Do you believe that or no? What's happening with that question? They said think, so you should think. Some of them agree and some of them they didn't think that. Okay, from my opinion, I think so. This, there is a lot of kind science that some of it, the scientists can reach to the solution for it uh, by technology and science. And some of it is still now, it's a mystery. For example, uh, when we want to talk earthquake, uh, storms, or what else we have, uh, uh, volcanoes uh, began by the using technology and science help them to know the time exact for it and uh, to make a notice for people to keep them safety. This is one example for helping technology and science. But on the other side, some of a natural uh, phenomenon uh, as a, a permuda triangle until now they, it's uh, become a mystery strange things and even the science and technology uh, doesn't help them uh, the science to reach the solution or what happening inside this triangle okay from this uh, two question we can reach to our title for our reading today it's a mystery what do you think mystery is 
how we can give a good definition for it, and which time I should use it, and so on. So we can say that mystery is a noun, which means that something unusual, some, something unexpected, something unbelievable to happen, which means a strange things as not a natural, it happened all the time. This is the right definition for mystery, and let's begin our reading today. Okay, our reading today have five or six paragraphs. Every, every paragraph talk about something, or talks about something, and they give an example, they give uh, some questions, and so on. So please make carefully to uh, pay attention about every details in, the, in this paragraph or in this reading passage. And uh, let's begin. Two, reading. It's a mystery. Before the development of science and technology, man viewed the natural world as mysterious and sometimes frightening. People were confounded by questions such as, what is thunder? How are mountains formed? What causes sickness? Then, with the development of science, man started to find the answers to such questions. Now that we live in an age of advanced scientific knowledge, it sometimes seems we have unlocked all the mysteries of nature. Yet every so often, nature presents us with unexplained phenomena for which there are still no rational scientific explanations. One such phenomenon that has been reported around the globe since ancient times is strange rainfall. From such diverse points on the globe as the US, Europe, and India, people have periodically reported such things as fish, frogs, and snakes suddenly falling from the sky. In one case, in July of 1901, a sudden heavy rain of frogs and toads fell on the city of Minneapolis, Minnesota. A reporter who covered the event wrote, when the storm was at its highest, there appeared from the sky a huge green mass. Then followed a peculiar sound, unlike that of rain or hail. When the storm lessened, people found a variety of frogs three inches deep and covering an area of more than four blocks so thick in some places that travel was impossible. Okay. After this, after this, uh, after this, uh, this uh, or uh, listening about this uh, paragraph, let we discuss it together, or let us discuss it together. At first, if you notice here, they give it an effective introduction about the mystery. They ask can you ask question. You should ask yourself about that question. What is a master is? This is some question applying to give you a good definition for a mastery. They ask you uh, questions such as, what is thunder? How are mountains formed? What causes sickness? And so on. And from the introduction, we can know the real meaning for mastery. After that, in the second paragraph, they give it a real example about the mystery with the natural, with the natural phenomenon. Okay, one such phenomenon that has been reported around the globe science. Okay, instant time in the strange rainfall from such diverse point on the global as the USA. This is one example that happened with the mystery things in USA, Europe. And the India people have ridiculously reported heavy rains of frogs and toads fell on the city of Minneapolis, uh, uh, Minneapolis uh, Minnesota. Reports, or reporters, sorry, who covered the event wrote, when the storm was at its highest. So, which means that when the storm began on that time, what happened? There appeared from the sky a huge green mass. So a huge green mass coming from the sky to the earth. What happened after that? Then followed by a peculiar sound, unlike that of the rain or hail. Okay? They, they hearing something or sound as strong as a hail 
coming from the sky. When the people go outside, they notice that something a mystery, strange, unbelievable, unexpected thing that the frogs, a lot of frogs are falling down from the sky. And this is the major of it. Uh, they told us that area of more than four blocks. And so think that in some places that travel was impossible. If you notice that they are using a reported speech for the previous grammar inside this paragraph. Let we transfer for the second slide. Two. Okay. Are you ready for listen to complete or, or listen complete uh, the uh, paragraph passage? Let's begin. Some people believe these events are caused by tornadoes that occur over bodies of water. The theory is that the tornadoes, whose force sucks up animals into the clouds, are also responsible for carrying the animals until they are dropped back onto land. However, this explanation has never been proven. It also does not explain why many of these rainfalls consist of only one species, and why many of them consist of species that are not native to the area where they fall, but to an area many hundreds of miles away. Perhaps the rainfall that has most confounded scientists is a heavy red rain that fell sporadically on Kerala, India over a two-month period in 2001. According to locals who experienced the rains, there was a flash of light and a boom so loud that it shook the houses in town. And then the rain began. The Kerala rain was studied by scientists around the world. It became famous in 2006 when Godfrey Lewis, a professor at Mahatma Gandhi University in Kerala, made some astonishing claims about the rain. Lewis said that the rain appeared to be composed of living biological cells. However, he said that there was no evidence of DNA in the cells. As all cells on Earth contain DNA, Lewis concluded that the colored particles were living cells from a life form on another planet carried to this planet by a meteorite. However, not all scientists agree with Lewis, and the origin of the red rain of Kerala is still generally considered to be a mystery. Okay, the third paragraph talks about tornadoes, and they give it an example for it. Tornadoes, which means a big and a big damaged storm that happen real things at in India, I think in 2001. After that, the, they give it an explanation for uh, tornadoes and what the people do when they're hearing it, what happened with the sound of it, and so on. They give it an example, a real example about what happened in India in 2001, according to the local who experienced the rains, there was a flash of light and a bomb so loud that it shook the houses in town. So what happened after that? Through this uh, things, the, the people or the people who lived that town, they found that red rain comes of began in Kerala. Rains, rains and rains. And after uh, this uh, mystery situation happened, the scientists in this university, Gandhia University in Kerala, began to analyze that one and what is the uh, expected things happen with it. Okay, they t uh, from this science, what is his name? Mahtama, he told us that uh, all the seals of the earth contains DNA. And Luis concluded that the colored particles were living seals from the life, or from a life from on another planet, which means this a big tornado bring things from another place and bring it to this town which make a damage as an animals or another thing and make the color of the rain become red. Okay, let we go for the next slide. Another natural phenomenon that science has yet to explain is ball lightning. Ball lightning is the term for rare balls of light, usually at least as big as a doorknob and sometimes as big as a football that float through the air during thunderstorms. These balls have no smell and no heat. 
they usually vanish soundlessly or explode with a loud pop when they come across something electrical, like a computer or TV. Although these strange electrical occurrences are not common, there have been occasional reports of ball lightning for centuries. One widely reported case of ball lightning occurred in January of 1984 in a Russian passenger plane. A Russian newspaper reported that the ball lightning flew above the heads of the stunned passengers. In the tail section of the airliner, it divided into two glowing crescents that then joined together again and left the plane almost noiselessly. Although the ball lightning left two holes in the plane, it has often been reported to pass through solid objects without leaving a mark. Because ball lightning occurs so rarely and unexpectedly, scientists have not been able to study this phenomenon, and it remains a great mystery. Okay, from this paragraph, we notice that now they're talking about the third kind of mystery thing, that, that what we're calling it a poles of light. Poles of light is something we can, uh, uh, we can say that it seems to thunder and lightning, uh, sorry, thunder and lightning, uh, but uh, this is a mystery thing. Until now, the science, they didn't know what's happening with that or what is the situation that becomes this lightning ball comets. Okay, they told us this is a big and have a smell, no smell and no heat, also usually vanish soundlessly or explode with the loud pop when they come across something electrical. This is the, the sound of it or the same sound of it, like a computer or TV. After that, they give it a real story about this mystery things which happen with the air, uh, airplane uh, liner when the, that big, or uh, uh, sorry, uh, when the big uh, lightning bowl divide this airplane to two divides and make two holes in the plane, it has often been reported to pass through solid objects without having a mark. So this is one example for mystery things that happen with the scientists. And the last paragraph for, our reading, for our reading today is that one, let, we, or let us hearing what they have. In this age of advanced scientific knowledge, it may seem surprising that there are occurrences in the natural world for which we have no explanation. But perhaps it is a good thing that we have not unlocked all of the mysteries of the natural world. Such mysteries help us maintain a healthy respect, curiosity, and awe of the natural world. Okay, this is the end of our paragraph. They talk that uh, uh, by until now, the scientists throw this technology and science, still they have a mystery things. And uh, some of it is, uh, is useful with the science and uh, technology and the other, it doesn't useful with it. And they told us uh, in this age of advanced scientific knowledge, it may seem surprising that there are occurrences in the natural world for which we have no explanation. Okay, by the end of this reading passage, we notice that uh, the mystery things is a real thing. And uh, from that reading, we know or uh, we discuss the type of it, of it, sorry, and the meaning of the mystery and they mentioned uh, three kinds and real stories that happen with some countries. Okay, by the end of this revision, uh, sorry, uh, by uh, reading passage, we will transfer to the In this question age of on the next slide. After every reading passage, we have questions and we have idioms, we should discuss it. So our question today is how to match the words to their synonyms. They give it uh, some words, uh, they mentioned it, or uh, we mentioned it already through the reading passage, and we have word or synonyms for it, a real definition we should uh, apply with it. So number one, confounded. Number two, rational. Number three, mass. Peculiar, species, sporadically, and meteorite, and O. Oh, this is eight words that we should, what is the suitable meaning for it? Let's begin. So number one, we think it, or the real uh, synonyms for it, real definition for it, it comes with confused, which make something that, which make uh, 
uh, confused in your ideas, confused in your mind, and so on. Number two, rational. Rational, which means something logical, something believable for you. Mass. Mass, an amount of matter with no specific shape. This is what they mean by mass. They doesn't have a exact shape or sound or so on. We're calling it mass. And peculiar, which comes with B, which means strange. Species, which means type. And I want to notice you that this species, we can pronounce by two ways, species and species. Sporadically, which means having no pattern or order in time. And meteorite, which means rock or a metal that has fallen to the earth from outer space. And O, which means amazement. So O means amazement. This is some uh, synonyms Oh, we discussed already through this reading passage. Now let we transfer for the next slide. We have a question, uh, or question, sorry, answer this question. Fourth question, according or belongs to the reading passage before. Number one, what are some of the maestros things that have fallen from the sky? They mentioned it inside the reading passage. What are, the, what are these things? Fish, frogs, snakes, and red rain have fallen from the sky in the rainfalls. Number two, what does Godfrey Louis believe about the red rain of Kerala and why? What do you think he said? Louis believed that the red rain was particles from life forms on another planet, which means carried it to Earth by a meteorite. Oh, sorry, uh, a meteorite. Number three, what is a pole lightning? We discussed the uh, things, the pole lightning is a ball of a light that floats through the air during thunderstorms. Describe the ball lightning that occurred on the Russian airplane. The ball lightning floated through passengers' airplane, divided into two, formed into one again, and then floated out of the airplane leaving two holes behind it. This is the fourth question or discussing question after reading passage. And by the end of this lesson, I would be thanks you for your, uh, uh, I would like to thank you for a uh, good follow-up and uh, I would like to see you again. Thank you so much.